Well, good morning, everyone. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming back. I want to go back to the psalm this morning and look at Psalm 119, verses 105 through 112. And I want to take the time to read that portion of Scripture this morning, but I would encourage you to take a Bible sometime today and refresh your memory of these wonderful verses out of this great psalm. But the verse that does stand out to me is Psalm 119, verse 105. And you know it well, and you may be able to quote it with me. Here's what the psalmist writes. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Now that's a little more um, contemporary translation. I memorized it out of the King James Version, as did a lot of you. And so when I look at that verse, even though I'm looking at it in a contemporary translation, I see... Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. One of the first churches that I had the privilege of pastoring was in the small town of Mariana, Florida. Mariana sits uh, just about, oh, somewhere around 50 miles to the north east of Panama City. So it was easy to get to the beach and uh, it was a wonderful place to live and a wonderful place to pastor. One of the things that we did in Mariana was uh, go to Florida Caverns, which was only a couple of miles away from where we lived. And one of the things we would do in the Florida Caverns State Park is go down into the cavern, uh, of course guided, and uh, spend some time uh, looking around in those beautiful uh, caverns underneath, um, underneath the earth. One point in that tour, the tour guide would say, now I'm going to turn out all the lights and we're going to experience total darkness. And he would do that. And we did it on several occasions. Every occasion, my daughter Candace would always make her way around to where I was and take my hand just before that light went out. Because once the light went out, it was total, total darkness. I'm wondering this morning, have you ever been in a really dark place where even a small single move would be tragic for you or your loved ones? We live in a spiritually dark world where our souls are often in peril. And in this section of Psalm 119, the psalmist declares that God's word is a light for my path and for living in this dark world. The psalmist in these verses declares the use of God's word to shine a light on our path. He's not suggesting that God's word shines a light to the future, as if he could sneak a sneak peek into the events that would take place tomorrow or next year. I wish we could, don't you? But he was saying that God's word helps him to understand right from wrong as he faces choices today. He's saying God's Word teaches the meaning of obedience so that he can live confidently for, uh, for God in his world today. Like the psalmist, we too need God's Word to guide our steps. Only God's Word can correctly inform us about the meaning of right and wrong. And the truth is, the more deeply steeped we are in God's Word, the more clearly we can discern right from wrong and choose the right path. In some places you walk today, you may need a flashlight, but in every place you go, you will need God's Word as a lamp for your feet and a light for your path. Let's pray. Accept our praise, O oh God, for your, your Word. It is truly a light to my path. And I pray that that light would continue to shine. I ask it in the strong name of Jesus. Amen.